Welcome back folks. Jason here to show you how we can create patterns in Illustrator. I've created some basic shapes and I want to turn these into a pattern, which I'm going to do by going under the window menu and choosing my pattern options. The pattern options panel will pop up and it will be completely grayed out until you have your object selected. Choose make pattern from your drop down menu. When you've done this, a new pattern will be added to your swatch panel. There it is. And any changes made when you exit will be applied. It's kind of odd how this works, but we're going to show you that. We're going to click OK. OK. So what we're looking at here is we're looking at our tile for our artwork. And then we're looking at the actual duplicate or the repeat here, the number of copies. You can control that to see how your pattern works. And you can also control the intensity of those duplicates by choosing the number of copies and then the percentage at which they are dimmed back. I want to edit this a little bit, so I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to select my object here. And I notice that I would like to have these little areas filled in. I want to have it so that I don't have these little gaps. I'm going to also just duplicate this. So I'm going to Option or Alt, click and drag, and I'm going to duplicate this so I fill in my pattern nicely. Then I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to kind of stretch these until those fit. And I'm going to just pull that in until those overlap and they give me a nice pattern edge. So I can make any edits to make my pattern look like it's going to be perfect and repeat going through. So super simple. We've created our pattern here in a very simple way. And here you would think, oh, I want to save this. Well, saving a copy is going to go ahead and it's going to save another version of this. Just simply by creating make pattern here, it has already gone in and saved it in here. The saving is done on exit. So when you click done, that is actually saving this. You don't want to go in and save another version of this. You simply are done with your pattern editing and it's going to save it right there. How does this work? Well, I create a shape and I apply a fill to that using my pattern and there is my pattern. That's simple. Well, there's other options that I can do with patterns as well. And I'm going to use multiple shapes to create a pattern. Select all those shapes. I'm going to go under Window, Pattern Options, drop down Menu, Make Pattern. And again, it tells me it's added to my Swatches panel right there. And I see how all these features work. If I would like things to interact, I'm going to move them beyond my tile. And I can create multiples as well. Move these shapes, change the color, change the attributes, and edit this while it works. Now, because I have multiple pieces of artwork inside here, I have the ability to go in and control the overlap to have the left object on top or the right object on top. Or I could go in and say, OK, have the top object on the overlap or the bottom object. So I can kind of create an interactive look on how these bits and pieces and elements are going to show through or interact with each other inside my pattern. It can be kind of cool. I'm going to choose Done, and then I'm going to create my shape, and I'm going to apply a fill to that, which is my pattern. Fantastic! Now, I've just created a simple pattern. I've created a complex pattern, and now what I'd like to do is I'd like to move my object around. But you notice when I move my objects around here, it's moving the window, but it's not moving my pattern. So immediately you would think, oh, I need to adjust the pattern, go under the window, go under pattern options, and I go under here, and there is absolutely no solution to this problem under the pattern options panel. Where it actually resides is in the transform panel. So you'll need to go under window and call up transform in order to change this option. The option by default in the drop down menu of the transform is to transform the object only, leaving the pattern completely stationary, but allowing you to move the window or the object around. So every time you move it, of course, you get a different snapshot of the pattern. Well, that's not great. You can also go in and simply change the width and the height here too to change your object. And it's going to change the object, but not the pattern. If you'd like to go in and transform the pattern only, you have to choose that. A little warning says here, OK, it's not going to change the size of the object. It's only going to change the fill. But there's no real way for you to go in and select the fill with your 
selection tool, your direct selection tool. So with this little warning coming up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the width and the height of the pattern using my transform. And I'm just using my up or down arrows here combined with my shift key to do it in 10 increments of 10. So this allows me to go ahead, scale and rotate my pattern within my object without transforming the object. If I would like to transform both together, both my object and my pattern, I can choose transform both and then I can edit it in my transform panel, but I can also come in here and scale that as well. So if this pattern's too large, I can go in, transform the pattern, reduce the overall size of the pattern within my container and affect that only that way. Now, as I go through here, there's other options that I can do with my pattern. So what I'm going to do to edit my pattern, I'm going to double click on the pattern in the swatches panel to call this back up. Now, any edits that I make, it's automatically going to save here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save a copy of this right now before I change anything. Okay, and it doesn't make sense. You think, wait a second, wouldn't I want to save it afterwards? No, you want to save it before because any changes that you make automatically get updated with every change that you make. So I'm going to save a copy right there. Okay, the window doesn't go away. There's my copy. Now I'm going to begin editing this. Make sure you save the copy first because any editing will change this one and this one. By saving a copy, it will only change your new one. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you different ways that you can lay out your artwork to get different patterns. But if we do brick by row, what this does is allows us to offset it in different ways to create different looks and feels of our artwork. Here, if I want a different type of pattern, this is what I can get by doing a brick by row with a half offset. I could also do brick by column too here and kind of get it offset a little bit differently. I can do uh, hex by column like this. This could be kind of cool. Again, going in and adjusting my artwork a bit so that everything lines up just like it should. Getting my repeat right here. And if I really want to mess with it, I can do scales. Oh, wow, look at that. You know, kind of do like fish scales. That could be kind of cool. I like that. You go in, I can adjust the lengths here so that things are actually going to snap the way they're supposed to on this. And get the perfect overlap here, it takes a little bit of tweaking, but you get the idea. Okay, now once I'm done with this and I like the pattern that I've created here, this can be really awesome. Ah, I like that. Okay, there it is. Now what I'm going to do is I don't want to save a copy of this. What I want to do is I just simply want to save what I've done. So if I click done, it's now going to update this copied version while leaving my original one alone. So I click done. Now I have both the original and the copy. There it is. So here it is. Here's my pattern. I have my original pattern. I have the one that I've just updated here and then I can go in and if I want to adjust just the pattern only, I can then go in here and adjust and get that pattern however I'd like. Make that. If you'd like more pre-made patterns, you can always go into the swatches panel to the library drop down menu, go down to patterns, call up any patterns that you have here, simply click on that, it opens up a panel, select your object, add the pattern. It will also add the pattern into your swatches panel, and then of course if you want to edit it, double click on it and you can edit how this works. It does not save over the original ones here in the library, it just updates it in your swatches panel. So that's just a quick overview of how you can make and edit and save patterns.